Hey then, welcome back to my channel. So I mentioned in my previous video that I will be making a dedicated video for fragrance mist. So here it is, my winter fragrance mist recommendation slash winter fragrance wardrobe. I'm wearing the NYX butter gloss in the shade Praline. It's a very neutral brown shade. Even though I have a lot of fragrances, I always like relating fragrances to a particular event in time. So that is why I call it my fragrance wardrobe. And I've been inspired by Jasmine Bullard here. I watch her fragrance wardrobe videos and that what inspired me here on YouTube. There are going to be a lot of gourmand fragrances in this one especially because winters are like my favorite time and gourmand is the it fragrance for winters. So if you love gourmand fragrances, this video is going to be a treat. I'm going to be skipping through this like very fast because my storage is running out. So I'll be just mentioning the names. So let's get into this once upon a time. First, we have Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte because of Halloween. It's more of like your fall and pumpkin scent. Fall vibes to me is more of like a toasty, nutty and apple kind of fragrances. So here I have the Bodycology's Toasted Sugar. And then from Bath and Body Works, we have Fairy Tale. It's more of like a winter fairy tale forest. Then you have Fireside Flurries, which is coming back repackaged. Which is coming back repackaged. And this is one scent you should try out if you like marshmallowy lavender scents. And this is the best vanilla out there. It's Bare Vanilla Untamed. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, but if you have it in your collection, this is the perfect time to wear it. Then when fall turns a little into winter and now it's 1st November. Uh, so you still want that appleiness, but you want winter. So, it, so then you can go with winter candy apple. But wait, after this, Diwali comes. For me, Diwali is more of like a night time with all the lights and fireworks. So last year I wore Bombshell Oud. So that is why this Bombshell Oud reminds me so much about Diwali. And from Bath & Body Works, you can try In The Stars. These both are... Oh wait, one more thing I forgot. Bath & Body Works also has a dark velvet oud. So here are another oud scents for Diwali. Then after Diwali, we have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is more of like, it reminds me of pies. And this eye sugar plum right here is giving me like a blueberry pie, even though it does not have blueberries. It reminds me of a, that marshmallowiness is like sweet and like a crusty pie note to it. But after all this, if you want to just smell fresh and clean, this is more of a citrus and apple scent, fresh and clean from pink. If you're a coffee person, then do try the Midnight Amber Glow. But if you're a chai person, then try the basic vanilla from Pink. This is available right now on Victoria's Secret Pink. It's more of your cardamom chai kind of scent. And this one is more of that ambery coffee note. So are you a coffee person or a chai person? Comment down below and let me know. Now let's get into December, which is all the ooey gooey coco no go mo go scent. First year I have a snowflakes and cashmere. It is going to be repackaged and coming back during winter time. It's more of your cashmere. It has a cashmere note with a hint of like that sit with a hint of citrus in it. It's a very pretty scent. Speaking about pretty scent, there's also pure wonder if you like rose scents and you're not into any like vanilla sweet kind of scents. Check out Pure Wonder. It's like an ice. It's like an icy rose. You know, rose water but with like ice. It also has, I think, amber in it. Which is giving it that perfuminess. And this scent reminds... This scent memory is more of like my birthday time. Because I received this on my birthday. Like, when it launched, I had received it. I had received it as a gift on my birthday. And that is why... And I had worn it on my birthday as well. So that is why it is attached to my scent memory. Speaking of my birthday, there is also Happy Birthday, which I used last year on my birthday. And it's a very like, people say it's Merry Cookie. It's more of this cookie note. It has more of this cookie note. And speaking of cookie notes, they also have 
similar to this happy birthday is the Charosa 71. I won't call it dupes, but they both have that cookie, cookie note to it. Happy birthday is also available right now in Bath & Body Works in a different packaging. And this is Charosa 71, which is one of the most decadent, which is, which is one of the most strong and decadent fragrances from their whole collection line. And I love smelling like this cookie dough, chocolatey kind of scent during my birthday and Christmas. So this can be like a Christmas scent for me along with my birthday time. And if you want an affordable vanilla fragrance, you can try Body Fantasies Vanilla Fantasy. This will be easily available in all your grocery stores nearby. It's a very, it's like a pure vanilla scent with like vanilla orchid. It kind of reminds me of warm vanilla sugar. And finally, for New Year's, I have three scent recommendations. Also, another affordable uh, fragrance would be the Plum Body Mist, the Smokin' Vanilla. I spoke about it in my previous video. I, don't, I just don't have it right now with me. We finally made it to New Year. And for that, I have Little Black Party Dress because it reminds me of New Year, of the, the pretty LBD and you go for your New Year bringing in new year's eve basically i also have the new sol de janeiro's after us which is quite similar to that it's like limited edition it's a limited edition scent which should be available right now in sephora at sephora if you want an affordable alternative you can try into the night from bath and body works and um they always have like different sales going on so yeah these three are like my these three I like in my new year scent wardrobe. We finally made it in new year and I hope you have a great year. Do comment down below which is your favorite fragrance and for which category. Okay, I know these are a lot of fragrance mist, but everyone has a different fragrance preference. Although I know a lot of you love vanilla, so I hope you'll find some recommendations from here. But this video is also about reminding y'all that if you if y'all have any of these fragrances at home in your collection, then it is time to use it during this season and create your own fragrance wardrobe. Because what suits you, suits you the best. I hope y'all found this video useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!